Hi guys, Kevin here. Today I'll be reviewing the Apesa Penta SSD right here. Now I'm not sure what controller they're using, but I do suspect it's using a Fison S10 controller because I tried to Google everywhere on the internet, no results so far. Because the reason why I say so that it's using a Fison controller because the performance is somewhat on par with the Kingston HyperX Savage, which I review. Links up here in the iCards. So for the 120 gig, the published speed is a 545 megabytes per second read and 520 megabytes per second write speed and let's see the review crystal Disma shows a 565 read and a 517 write speed black magic shows a 518 read and a 429 write speed auto shows the transfer speed at variable file size the read and write speed is consistent at 565 read and also near to 516 write speed. AS SSD is a better stress test software. It shows it got a 522 read speed and a 457 write speed. Here are some Anvil scores to show response time and IOPS. So I'm going to compare auto benchmark and also the published speed. Now the published read speed is 545 megabytes per second but throughout our test it got a 565 megabytes per second. That's 20 megabytes per second more than the published speed which is great. Now when it comes to write speed that's a different story. It's just shy of 520. Our max speed that I got from Auto is 516 so it's just within tolerant level a 4 megabytes per second slower than the published speed which is okay so if you're looking for a decent price SSD for gaming in mind high performance transferring your file at a high write speed this is one to consider thanks for watching now if you're interested in other SSD reviews or flash storage you can check out in the iCards see you in the next episode